Okay, from here we can clearly see several universities and several of them have different parameters. And this is the first university, Abdullah Gold University. Let's see how far we can go with this analysis in this video. Abdullah Gold University is actually a great one because it accepts English speakers to come and study. So basically you can study in Turkish, you can study in English in this university. And this makes one of the requirements really, really well known. And that is the fact that you need to write a TOEFL IBT exam when applying to this university. This is the Abdullah Go University. And if you're writing the TOEFL IBT, you need to score a minimum of 75 on TOEFL IBT to get access to this university. So this is for this university. You can always use the link here on this website. Just click on this university name and get access to more info on this university. Next university on our list is ACK. Denis University. Now, if you check out, you check out this Ak Denis University, the requirement from Turkish Embassy is the fact that you just need to graduate from high school if you're going for your undergraduate. If you're going for a master, you have your undergraduate degree, just like that, and you work with it. So basically, Ak Denis University is dedicated to teaching you in Turkish. This is not an English program, so basically, you need to understand Turkish language when you get there, and you're taking a one year Turkish program that to work with Ak Denis University. You can check out the courses that they have. You can explore them. You can see they have several courses, several institutions. You do your research and you work with Ak Denis University. The next university I'm talking about is basically following the same structure. And this is the Aklanya Alandin Kembukat University. If you check out this university, this university works strictly with Turkish, just like the Ak Denis University. So I'm checking out these universities as series. And basically, you can do your research based on these universities. A lot of them are dedicated to allow international students to come to the university. And if you are international students going to study with them, it's going to be a great time for you. Because there are a lot of international students that have gained admission based on the scholarship. And you too can also gain as one of those international students. So basically, this is Aklanyan University. You can research on that university. Now, I'll be checking out just 10 universities in this list. And I'm going straight to Middle Eastern University once I'm done with this 10. Because... Middle East Technical University over here is one of the top universities and to talk about also Istanbul Technical University. So you basically can see Middle East Technical University and Istanbul Technical University. Before we get there, let's finish the first top 10 so I can explain the top 10 to you, know some requirements, and you can understand why I'm working with these universities. So one, two, three, four. Okay, we have Ankara, Idirim, Bayazit University. So let's check this university out. Now, if you the university, you see the mad graphics have on their sites. That's a great one. So, the requirements to is not that it's too high, but it's okay. You just need to be a high school graduate and you need to write TOEFL IPT or have an equivalent exam score. If you're writing TOEFL IPT to come to the school, you need to have a score of at least 79 on the TOEFL IPT. So people, now, since we know Ankara University was really TOEFL IPT of 79, of us have the SAT already written, the SAT already written, you can also submit them just in case, okay? You can work with them, but that's if you've not written the TOEFL too. We need to have a good SAT English score. SAT English score, a good SAT English score comes in as 700 over 800 as a good SAT score. But since the minimum year is 79 for TOEFL, that's 79 over 120, if you get a 600 plus on the SAT, you should still be okay to apply to. This decision is made based on the fact that you are both average when talking about the SAT. So schools actually require both the SAT and the TOEFL IBT, which we'll be talking about shortly. It seems I skipped our Timbers University Faculty of Engineering. So let's check our Timbers University Faculty of Engineering. This university also requires you to be fluent in English because they work with English. Hence, they have the TOEFL IBT requirement of 8C on TOEFL IBT. You can always go to the university website, learn more about them, see if they are okay for you, and how to work with them. If you want to check out their tuition fees, I'm doing university series, we are talking about tuition office, but if you want to check them out on your own, you can come here to check them. So if you apply to this school and get a scholarship, instead of paying $8,500 in tuition fees, it will be covered entirely by the scholarship board. So that's great. Even men say this is $25,000, instead of paying this, covered entirely by scholarship board. So you should prepare well for this Turkish scholarship. Now, on to the next university on the list. If you are checking out the next university on the list, you see we have at a talk university, at a talk university actually is over here and it doesn't require you to work with English, which means it deals with Turkish and you have to learn Turkish for a whole year when working in this university. 
So basically, you can go to university, explore the courses. Every, every university wants to make their website attractive, and that's great. I love the feeling of this website. But it's not just feeling like for do your research based on university. Remember, you are applying to 10 universities, although it's a scholarship, but at least you should not let your guard down and apply to top schools or schools you know you can enter successfully and they can teach you to become great in your field and work with them and let me know the result from there all right so this is for this university next university on the list so we don't have many tabs open i'll just close some of them here next university on this is Baskent university so we've done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'll stop at fourth university with a b beginning with it so this is Baskent university let's check out Baskent university and see what could come out from Baskent University? All right. So why that's opening up? We'll be opening up Bell Kent University. Open new tab. We'll opening up Bolu Urban University. So you can take this quickly, and then Bosa Technical University. So I'll let you know what I am observing about Technical University very soon. Let's try and start off from Baskent University. Baskent University teaches English, but I believe thirty percent English. That's what they said on their website. Thirty percent on the scholarship page. And this means most likely 30% of the course will be in English, the rest will be in Turkish. So basically, you need to learn Turkish, no matter how you look at it. One year of Turkish will be taken compulsorily. Alright, so you need to score your, a small score of just 72 on the TOEFL IBT test, and you need to be a high school graduate if you are working on the scholarship. That's for the undergraduate scholarship. For graduate students, you need to finish your undergraduate. For research students, you should go and work with your PhD and work with it successfully. So this is for this university, Baskent University. The next university is Bacon University over here. Bacon University Faculty of Engineering has a lot of courses. Even the architecture concept is also prevalent in this university. The university successfully works with English language and you need a minimum SAT score. Yeah, sorry, so first call of 72. If you have an SAT score, I think it's still okay to submit them because a lot of students won't be writing the SAT when they're applying. They just apply from high school. And speaking based on statistics from Nigeria. But if a lot of them are in the city, they don't even think of Turkey as an option. They just apply to US direct for getting Turkey is there. So you that are applying to Turkey and you have an SAT score of 1,400 above or 1,300 above, it's still okay. Because the minimum SAT score some of these universities are so is 1,200. Let's check out Bolu University. Okay, Bolu Abant is the Basal University. They speak in, they teach in Turkish. So basically, this is a Turkish central school. And you can see more about the university. If you have a course, let's say you have a course you like, let's say your course is mathematics, you can just search at mathematics university, Turkish, best mathematics university in Turkish, check it out with the list I have for you, and then you know if university appears there, you know that's one of the universities that is tough for your course and you can work with that. So this is Bosa Technical University. You can also work with Bosa Technical University here, and they are set international students mainly too. So basically, they teach in Turkish, be an undergraduate student, and that's great. They have 14% foreign student ratio, which is a great one to compare to some other universities. So you can work with numbers and see how it all plays out. I remember it's a technical university. At least, I promised you I'll be working with Middle East Technical University and okay, Istanbul Technical University. The reason why I talked about Middle East Technical University, Middle East Technical University is one of the top schools in Turkey. And being a top school, surprisingly, it's not really surprising though, but it's on the list. So, Middle East Technical University, whether it's loading up, I will go through to the you know, next university, Istanbul Technical University. Okay, uh, last one to about Technical University. Technical University usually require a lot from you. And let me open up the middle. Okay, let me open it up for my device so you can see it soon. Good. Now, this university requires you to have this city while applying to the university. You can see how top notch hard it is. <laughs> university website is already looking dope. All right, you need a SAT score of 1200 out of 1600, and you need a score of 75 on the TOEFL. You need to be a high school um, graduate if you are going for undergraduate course. The TOEFL 75, like I mentioned, the 1200 to 1600 should not just be there, like you scoring just 800 in, in um English and scoring so or well, 700 in English and trying to score just 600 in maths, they won't accept you. They need your critical reading in. Or rather, your English version to be okay, and then a minimum mass score of 680. It's not just scoring 1200, your mass should at least be 680, even if you are getting that 1200. So they are okay with you scoring a little English or 500 and something, 520 in English, they are okay with that. 
But you know that your maths, they need you to be 680 if you are coming to this school. And see, requirements is really high, and they need you to try to fail too when you're working this school. Let's go to Istanbul Tinko University because the reason I'm working with this, I just want to show you all that these are Tinko universities and how they think is kind of different from others. This list here is very, very comprehensive, especially with the links that are already working with them. And once you click on the link, they are taking to work inside mainly of these universities. So you can work with this list. I'm going to be leaving a link to this website in the description of this video. You can get access to Turkish universities with full scholarship with this Turkey Bus Live Scholarship, scholarship application series. Today is January 9th and I'll play this video most likely tomorrow so, or later on and the scholarship application portal will open January 10th with last day February 20 every single year for the undergraduate students. Make sure you maximize this university website, check it out and make sure you join our WhatsApp community for more updates. I'll see you in the next one.